Welcome to Mad Tech TV. In this episode, we're going to be learning how to use some of the basic features of Google Drive's spreadsheet tool. To get started, go to your Drive dashboard, click on the red Create button, and select Spreadsheet. All right, so we've got our blank spreadsheet. Um, notice that a spreadsheet is composed of a series, a grid of boxes that are arranged in rows and columns. These boxes are called cells, so just so you know that, as I'm referring to the spreadsheet, when I say cells, I'm talking about any of these boxes. And uh, spreadsheet cells are also referred to in terms of their row and their column. For example, this would be A3 because it's in column A, row 3. This one here would be in C6 and so on. Um, so that's the basic uh, layout of a spreadsheet. Now entering data in a spreadsheet, you can enter different kinds of data into a spreadsheet. Simply click on the box and start ty start typing and so on. Um, you know, how, whatever data you would like in there. You can also do numerical data. Uh, I can go here and say and so on. You can also do symbols and other types of data. Another thing that you can put into cells that we're going to cover in the next lesson is formulas. You can actually perform mathematic functions in a spreadsheet automatically, which is really a, probably what makes them most useful. Okay, so let's complete this spreadsheet. That was fast. We've got all our data on here. All right, so we've got this team roster. First thing we need to do is we need to give it a name. You'll remember from our lesson in Google Docs that uh, saving is done automatically in Google Drive. But up here, I'm going to give it a name. By default, it's Untitled Spreadsheet. I'm going to click that, and then I can simply call it whatever I'd like. In this case, I'm going to call it Team Roster. I'm going to click OK. And now it's going to be in my drive. You'll see one called Team Roster right there. Now the text or any other data that's in our cells can be uh, formatted just like it can in pretty much like it can in a word processing document. For example, if I would like Fred's name here to be bold, I can do so. I can simply hot click on that cell and click the bold button and make it bold. Um, one thing that's different about a spreadsheet is I can actually select multiple cells and do the same type of task to them. I can make all of these uh, team members' names bold. Um, another way that I could do it is I can actually select an entire row or column. So if I select this row, row 1, and then click bold, any content that's entered in row 1, even if I haven't already entered it there yet, like here, um, is going to show up as bold. Okay, let's undo that. I don't need the shoe size. I can also italicize text. I can do a strike through which is useful when you're working with some numeric data in particular. I can change text colors. Clicking this tool, maybe I want it to be green. I can change the background of these cells if I'd like to give them a little emphasis. Maybe I'm going to make this yellow. All right. And another thing I can do is I can format these cells. For instance, I can take these cells and I can change their alignment just like you can in a word processing document. Here's the alignment tool and I can say I want them all centered. I can also change the vertical alignment in a spreadsheet. Now that doesn't show, that wasn't very dramatic what I just did there, but that's because this is a very short cell vertically speaking. But one of the cool things that I can do with a spreadsheet is I can resize the rows or the columns. And to do that I simply move my cursor over here so that my mouse is between, it's on the line between the rows. So I'm gonna, what I want to do is I want to make this row taller. So I move my cursor over here, and then I click and drag, and I've just made the row taller. I can do the same thing with widths by coming over here between the columns. So if I want the name column to be a little wider, maybe the number column to be a little narrower, I can do that kind of thing. I can double click on one of those lines and it'll automatically adjust the width uh, to the just bigger than the width of the uh, widest item in that column, which you can see was the word average in this case. I can do the same thing here. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to add some borders to these cells because even though you see these lines here, notice that they're gray. And gray lines 
are here while you're working, but they're not there while you're uh, when you're printing. So if we want to make those lines show up, we need to add borders. So I'm going to click and drag to select all of these cells from A1 down to D7. And then I'm going to come here and I'm going to find the Borders button. If you click the Borders button, you'll notice you have several options. This is full borders. That means every line at the you know above and below uh, columns or to the, or rows or to the left or the right of columns will be highlighted. We'll have a line drawn on it. Or you can do internal internal only borders. You can do external only borders. You can only do vertical borders, etc. I can select options like my color. So maybe I want a specific color border. Maybe I want them to be blue. And I can also select a different style if I'd rather have dashed lines or solid lines or whatever. But once I decide what color and style I want, I come over here and click where I want the borders to go. I click all borders in this case. And now you can see I have blue borders around that, and those borders will show up when I print. Okay, one last thing to show you uh, in this video, and that is that you can actually merge cells. For example, um, if I entered this data here, it is too big for this cell. And what happens is it wraps the data and moves half it down you know, to another line. If, however, and there's multiple ways to do this, but let's say that I just want this data to bleed right over on top of this one, um, I can actually highlight those two cells and I can click this merge button right here. That will take those two cells and make them one. Notice, so it just made me one wider cell without adjusting the width of the two columns. Okay, so I didn't affect those at all. I mean, another a way I could obviously have done it would be just to make column B much wider and Tony the Tiger would have fit in there. All right, now you notice I can also unmerge those cells should I choose to do so by clicking the same button. All right. Deleting something from a cell is simply a matter of highlighting it and pressing the delete key on your keyboard. All right, that is it for this lesson where all we were doing was creating a spreadsheet, inputting some data, formatting that data, its appearance, its arrangement, and so on, and also formatting cells a little bit, adding cell borders, kind of tweaking the widths and heights and stuff like that. In the next video, what we're going to look at is some slightly more advanced things like how to do some mathematical functions, how to do some sorting, and how to create some charts and graphs using a spreadsheet.